Today on Karamo. I hate her. I hate her guts. Sisters on the verge of destruction. For sure. No, 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 we're not going to do that sure. here. They were forced to fend for themselves. She'd be like, oh, I hope you crash your car and die. You just was asking me for money. It's sister versus sister versus sister. You got to stop that, first of all. Can anything save this family? I know that there's somewhere deep in me that wants to be around your sisters. Plus, a concert picked has her convinced her man is cheating. Got a DM from her saying, tell your boyfriend to stay on my inbox. Is he sleeping with other women? You know I love you, right? OK. You know that? There's only one way to find out. It's time to unlock Chris's phone. <laughs> Take a look at these three sisters. That's 21-year-old Jenny on the left. 27-year-old Janae in the middle, and 32-year-old Jasmine on the end. Although these siblings are smiling in this photo, their relationship is now on the verge of destruction. I know it's sad. Please welcome Jasmine to the show. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Can you have a hug? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we got the Pretty in Pink memo today, <laughs> I see. All right, then. So. What's the current status of your relationship with Jenny? Well, right now we're very on bad terms. She thinks she could just rule the world, and thinks she could just talk mm -hmm. to me crazy. I did a lot for her. Um, just recently, she had me blocked for about six months, and then she unblocked me because she had to go to the hospital, mm -hmm. and she needed me to be there like to comfort her. So she called me like, "I broke my finger! I broke my finger!" She crying. And like, so she blocked you, but blood and blocked you for the, the finger. Yeah. Got so it. she's in the hospital. <laughs> so she's in the hospital crying, saying all type of stuff. I'm like, okay, well, you'll be okay. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, maybe there's a chance for her. We, we could be back cool, be together. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna call the show and see if it could um, give her some help and help us, like, help us all. So I called my um, sister Janae, like, oh, Jennifer called me. She uh, said her finger was broke. And Janae was like, I don't think that's a good idea because y'all always arguing. There's always something. Like, mm -hmm. stay away from her still tell me stay away from her so i'm like you know what we all just need to just like work on us and or whatever so you're trying you're yeah. trying yeah. i appreciate you coming to the show and helping me work it out with you so what was your relationship with your sister like when you were younger um well we just was like we all lived in the same house together uh -huh. uh, my mom really wasn't there like that so i was like i had to grow up at an early age because i had to make sure that i um like take care of them like feed them and stuff like that so janae she didn't really used to be in the house with us like that so it's like normally it used to just be me and um jennifer okay. and then i ended up having a kid at uh 15 so it was us three my son jennifer and um my mom but my mom never was really there Got it. so um yeah so after that she um, started going to jail and started going to juvenile hall mm. and stuff like that. She ended up going to group homes. Mm. And so for me to get her out the group home, I used to have to like go to courts. I had to get a certificate. I was nine months pregnant. So I had to like, I was like trying my hardest to make sure my mom was like, please get her out of the, please get her out of the group home, please. Don't let her, don't let your sister be stuck in the system. So I made sure like I was at every court day. I had to take classes. I had to, I had to like, do all this type of stuff, but that's I'm a, nine months. That's a, that's a lot of pressure yeah, on you. Yeah, and nine months pregnant too. I was like, ooh, told her I was about to have my baby probably like in a couple of more weeks. And did you finally so, get custody? Yeah, I got custody of her. Good she job. came and came home that's with that's me. That. She came home with me. She came. She had finally came home with me, but. While she was there, she was just like off the hook. She was off the hook, but she did good. She was getting straight A's. That's why I would tell her, like, just please just get straight A's. Like, all she want to do is just like smoke weed, mm -hmm. bring all these people to my house. And I just tell her, and like, how no. old was she at this point when you got custody? Um, and she was doing all this. She was like 14. 14, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so she had, she was just having, she don't want to listen to nobody. She just think everybody is out against her, but that's not, that's not the idea. And then she just like off the walls, like it don't make no sense. You said she had a whole bunch of friends over the house. Did her friend steal from you? Yeah, her friend um, stole like 10,000 from me. 10,000? Yeah, yeah her jewelry friend. and? No, and just cash. Cash. Yeah, because I had went to the nail shop and then when I came home from the nail shop, I just like something told me like, go check on your money because the little girl was gone. Yeah. So I'm like, let me check on this money. Because why she leaving is, is by we going to a birthday party because it's my son's birthday. Yeah. So I'm like, why did she leave? So I went in my room and go check. The money was gone. So I told Jennifer, like, 
your friend stole my money. She was like, no, she didn't, no, she didn't. I'm like, yes, she did, go look, because Jennifer knew where it was at and everything. I'm like, go look. And then she went in there, she was calling the girl. She was like, I'm going to bring it back, I'm going to bring it back, and never did bring it back. Oh. And then, next thing you know, she, a couple of months later, you back being cool with this girl that stole this money from me. Oh, wow. Like, you're not trying to get my money back. You're not trying to do nothing. You being cool with her, that's not okay. Like, why you want to hang with somebody that's, that's doing bad things to your yeah. family? Like, you should be, it should be family first, because that wasn't your friend. What kind of nasty thing would your sister Jennifer say to you? She'll just, she'd be like, oh, I hope you die. I hope you uh, crash your car and die. She told my kids, um, you're going you're, you're gonna to be motherless, just like me. You ain't going to, you ain't going to have no mother. Wow. Your mama going to be dead. I hope she die. I'm going to tell my daughter told my daughter, um, your dad should have raped you. I'm sorry to hear that. How did, uh, She say hurtful things, like... And your mom passed away last year, right? Yes, yeah, she did. Um, and was Jenny there when she died? No, she came, like, three times since she'd been in the hospital. And my mom ended up passing, and Jennifer came on the deathbed when she was already dead. Wow, okay. Well, everyone, uh, we've heard one side of this story, and I think it's important to hear the other side. So, everyone, let's meet Jasmine's sister, Jenny or Jennifer. Come on out. How are you doing? Hi. Thank you for being here. You look nice. Thank you. So I want to start off. You were, there was a lot going on backstage. What yeah. were you feeling and going through? Because I heard you stopped in. There was lies. Like, you know, um, I did have, I didn't ever had a mom growing up. Like, you know, so you can't sit here and think you can just do this. Like, you know, you was never a big sister. You never gave me that I good role model. Like, you, you know, you, if you want to sit here and do this, you gotta, that you gotta be real. Like, you know, you okay, gotta well, be, be real. real. Like, all you, the, do is all, lie. you cannot be a liar. fake on this TV show. Girl, you have to be real. You feels, fake is one. You're a liar. Like that, it feels like you don't like your sister. I don't I, because... I hate her. Um, I hate her guts. They... Wow. Yes. Sisters on the verge of destruction. Oh, for sure. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Sure. They were forced to fend for themselves. You just was asking me for money. Can anything save this family? I know that there's somewhere deep in you that wants to be around your sister's family. What's the current status of your relationship with Jenny? She don't want to listen to nobody. She just think everybody is out against her. She'd be like, oh, I hope you crash your car and die. She told my kids, you're going to be motherless just like me. It feels like you don't like your sister. I hate her guts. Dave? Uh, yeah. Anyway, Jasmine is a real evil person. She have, she's messed up in the head, and she's got a lot going on. Um, I don't got nothing all going her on. Whole we life, happy. I'm good. No, anyway, all her whole life, she you just been, like, all messed up. Like, and, like, you know, saying I don't love my mom, I don't do... Who want to see their mom on a deathbed? Girl, Dying that, from, like, you know, that, her you going through came. drugs and stuff, all that. I slept under the... I slept under freeways with my mom. They was nowhere to be found. I slept under freeways with my mom, with her. You wanted to live like, like that. Like what? I didn't never wanted to you live like that. How am I 12 years old with my mom you and I'm sleeping away on, from her. on free, under away freeways, from her. not knowing nothing, not knowing nothing. So of course I was like a little, you know, bad yeah. back then. You but okay, awful. I didn't have no um, no guidance, no mom. I didn't have no dad. I didn't have no sisters. I didn't have nobody. She's I had myself. Lying. She didn't take care of me since what, I was 14. What do you think your sister's yes. lying about? Where what do you think your sister is lying about? I was on the run. I had to take the. I was on you the run. To, you came home with Janae me. Janae caught the police on that me. That was that was before no, you were you 14. Sound dumb. No, you yes, sound dumb. You really sound dumb. You really sound dumb. I've been in jail since I was 12. She forgot. Ain't nobody she forgot. forgot. Don't let, she forgot. Don't sit she here forgot. and let her. She um, forgot. Because 14, she was with me, me, and I was uh -uh. having to go to don't the courthouse and, and everything. Because um, you a snake. So me. I just want to know from you. She really uh -huh. mad because I, her, she got I, beat up by I, her friend, I and I'm cool with her friend. That's you, why, I want to know from I you. I want to know from you. Did That's you Jenny. have? Did Did you have custody of your sister? Yes. She, did she have Since custody when? of you? Jennifer, you know I had custody of you. 2016 to 2017. You wasn't 16. Jazz, you are you dumb? Alive? You're dumb. You know I've been on a run. I my daughter is four years old. Excuse I was me, pregnant with my me. daughter when She's I went lying. to go get her. Excuse my me. daughter is four. Um, Do the I, math. Excuse me. I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, like, I got come off the on run. Now. I was Do on the math. Run. Excuse me. Shut up. Do I was on the run from 2014 to 2017. No, you think you're grown, but I'm gonna beat your ass after the show. No, you won't beat my ass. For sure. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. That's not what you're doing. You're not like that. No, you're really. You know me. Everybody knows me. I don't know you. I don't know you. I know nothing about you. I don't know nothing about you. I am not with all this TV. Why are you here then? Why are you here? Because you're playing hella games Why on this TV here? trying to make look at you. you. Okay, like, like I what said, about you? they don't have to believe you me. They know. They can see the way you act. Okay, okay, I, I want to know something. Do you all want a relationship? Excuse me. 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 Excuse me.
me. The thing is, is for this to be resolved, somebody has to want to see this relationship be solved. Otherwise, I can't be here for y'all. I'm fine with my sister that I have that's I backstage. Okay, so I need Janae out. Please bring Janae out. All right. She's right here. Um, I saw what's going on here. How do you play involved in this? Are you close with one of them or the other? Well, I'm closer to Jazz now. Okay. Um, me and Jennifer, we never really had a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, like what Jasmine was saying, when Jennifer was young, she was running the streets and stuff, and yes. people and people were calling me. I was living in Tennessee at the time. People were calling me saying Jennifer was on a run from her group home, mm -hmm. and they didn't want her at their house. So I called the police to pick Jennifer up, and when they picked her up, she was Jasmine was able to get custody of her and get her emancipated later on. But she went around saying that I was a snitch, and every time she get mad, like if I don't give her money or something, yeah. then I'm a snitch okay. to everybody. Got it. I understand that. And so for you, <clears throat> from your perspective right now, do you believe that this relationship can be prepared? If Jennifer learns to be open to somebody helping her and guiding her, uh -huh. but if not, then no, because I could say anything to her, like... I could I could say anything and she'll get upset and wanna I hope you die I hate you so I, I backed up from that because I don't I don't play with words like so that. So do you two have a relationship? Yeah. Yes, we're okay. close. Okay. So you two have a relationship and I her had a attitude, relationship with Jennifer before. Yeah, I know. I can yeah. tell. I can see, but I can also see the anger issues. Mm -hmm. And so the reason that before she that played it was, victim. I, yeah, well, I think there's I think that there is a piece of this, and I'm gonna be real with y'all, where she, it's not playing victim. I I hear the trauma that y'all all experience with your mother, and I see your bravery and your courage no, to be the victim, one. No, it's victim, because what Jazz didn't say is that Jennifer had ap opportunity. She lived with her grandmother. She stole her from her grandmother and ran away. Every time somebody took Jennifer in, she ran away. So Jennifer was choosing that life. Like, me and Jazz, she always tried to talk about what she went through. Me and Jazz went through a lot before she was even born and stuff it. that and stuff that we tried to protect her from because she was our little sister. Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying, but I gotta be honest with you, as a third party on the outside, even though it seems like a child had choices, she was still a child. And her reactions were out of the same pain. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. You ever um, tried to pour into a cup that has holes in it? No. No, you wouldn't, because why? Because it'll spill out. It will spill out. Mm -hmm. So then right now, you're trying to pour into a cup that has holes in it from, its, from her pain. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you are frustrated. Mm -hmm. You are frustrated. Fed up. Fed up. Because you like, I'm pouring into you. I'm pouring into you. And she over here like, girl, I know I'm trying to receive as much as I can, but it ain't working. Right. Y'all got to stop the frustration on y'all end and sort of like take a relaxed back. And when you see her angry, realize it's like, okay, y'all are patching up y'all holes. I see it. I see the work y'all doing. She hasn't patched up the holes, and so y'all trying to fill her up, and she's not receiving it. But y'all are getting mad at her for not being able to receive when she got the holes that still leave. But I don't get mad. I'm not mad. No I just watched both y'all react. No, I, I, I watched I'm you not. react. Now, I, yeah, I'm not I know, mad. But at first, you, I just, you mad because you reacted. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not mad. That's to, that's her. That's on her. I know, but the reaction of the mad is only what makes it worse. I'm mad because she lie a lot. That's I, not mad. I get that. I yeah. get that. But you know, lying. It hurts and it's wrong. And Look, I, can, being loud I, can, back there. I can teach her through that. Of course. Yeah. Let me go talk to you. Let me go talk, okay? Hopefully she don't hit you. She not. <laughs> I got this. It's sister versus sister versus sister. Y'all not listening to me. I see through this anger. I see through all of this anger. Can we save their little sister from a dangerous path? I know that there's somewhere deep in you that wants to be around your sisters. Nobody. She's I have myself. Lying. She didn't take care of me since what I was 14. What do you think your sister's yes, lying about? Where you come what do you from? think your where sister you is lying about? Yeah. I was on the run. I had to take the I was on you the run. To... Me and Jennifer, we never really had a good relationship. Let me go talk, okay? Hopefully she don't hit you. She not. <laughs> I got this. Can I first have a hug? Hi. Okay, so I don't know if you heard what I just talked about with your sisters. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge that you got some pain. And I just talked to your sisters. Did you hear everything I said to them? Mm -hmm. 
I acknowledge that there was things going on with you that for them, from their perspective, it was like, oh, she made a choice. She got this. I see through this anger. I see through all of this anger. I see the pain that you have going on, and I see that, like, you feel a bit abandoned. You feel like people don't get you. No, I, 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 no I, I feel like y'all not listening to me. Tell me. I want to hear Like, you. I feel like y'all listening to them, and more than y'all listening to what I got going on. I'm, I've been through... I didn't, like, I, they had an experience with my mom I never had. Like, I've been through way more than they've been through, with, whatever they're going through. Like, I've been through way more. Like, I'm the youngest. I never had a mom that been consistent in my life like them. I never did, had all of this stuff. I never been happy. Like, I, I met my mom, she was already on drugs. Like, I don't, I don't, I like, people trying to say I ran from my group home, I did this. Everything I did was for a reason. Like, I, I don't, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it was back then, okay, but what about now? Like, you know, I'm not a prostitute, I'm not on drugs, I'm not doing none of that stuff. I'm doing, I'm working, I'm doing everything I can for myself. I don't wanna fail, I don't wanna be out here. I'm not perfect, I'm not finna sit here and, and d be around y'all if y'all wanted me to be perfect, I'm not perfect. I see the hard exterior, I see the pain that's coming through, but I also know that you do want your sisters in your life. Let I me don't. tell you, let me, no, let me tell you why I know. It's because when you hurt your hand, you unblocked your sisters to talk to them. When No, of, I no. hurt my hand. Let me let me no, let me clear this up now. I hurt my hand the day before the show. So I had to call them and let them know. I had to tell them. Like I let them know. It was never I broke my hand so the this same is, day so this we were supposed second, to leave. This is the second thing. Even if that's the timeline for you, they the called second, me first about this, the show. If the I, second, I don't care about the second about, thing right. is the second thing is is that I know from my producers because I was with them as they were booking your flights that you wanted to fly with your sisters because you're afraid of flying. Is that the truth? I mean, I guess truth? so. I That's, mean, it don't a, it's really... It's a yes. It's a yes. So what I'm saying to you is you can pretend all you want with someone else, but I can see through, again, the pain. I see you as a very smart and strong young woman, but I see that there's a lot of pain there. I know that there's somewhere deep in you that wants to be around your sisters. Otherwise, you would have said, I'm going to fly alone. Otherwise, when they would have called about your hand, you would have been like, I'm hanging up the phone. You still wanted a bit of connection. Part of you wants them to understand you, and part of you wants to have sisters. Can I say something real fast? You can say whatever you'd like to say. Okay. I'm not, like, I don't... It's it's a dark area when we come around each other. It's dark. It don't bring nothing but, like, darkness. Why don't, do you think it's dark? Because, like, everybody's broken. We are broken. I feel like us being away from each other and me doing my own thing and letting them do their own thing is the best for me. I've been doing good this whole time. No drama, no nothing, no nothing. Yeah. I'm not a kid. I can own up to everything. What can but I'm you not y'all not well, about to sit on. here and lie uh, on we're, me. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna have anybody lie on you. What do you think you can own up to before I brought you back out? I could own up about every, like everything. Just okay, when back thing. then when I was broken, I was doing all that. Okay, yes, I was doing everything they said I was so called doing. Okay, and but what was y'all doing? Just just stop there. You, you can own up to the fact that you, what, had bad behavior? Of course. That you were disrespectful to them? Of course. What else can you own up to? Smoking weed, going okay. in and out of jail, fighting all day, every day, going viral, all this. I can own up to all that. I'm, I can do that. You can do it. I know what I be doing. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm telling y'all I changed. I'm not that person no more. That's okay. why I don't like bringing up the past. They don't know the new me. They it. only know this me. That's so why they telling y'all about y'all. I got it. So you just telling y'all about to what this. you did. So can you introduce them to the new you? Who is the new you? Me, I got my life together. Like, okay. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing in what life. Is, what, what is that? Like, I'm working, got my own apartment, doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, like, uh, as an adult. I'm okay. doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm, yeah. I'm changing. I mean, I'm growing. I'm, I'm changing. And that's the part of life. You change. And that's what I'm doing. I'm changing. I'm going to have you come out here and say something. Come on. How many times have I told you I loved you? It's sister versus sister versus sister. She says that she's changed. Can we save their little sister from a dangerous path? You are the path. You're up on stage. I never had a mom that been consistent in my life like then. I never been happy. I was doing everything they said I was so called doing. Smoking weed, going in and out of jail, fighting all day. I'm not that person no more. They don't know the new me. I'm gonna have you come out here and say something. Come on. 
So your sister felt like she has been heard just the same way y'all felt. She says that she's changed. She says she can own up to her past. I'm sure there's more things you want her to own up to, but this she took a first step. Can y'all acknowledge y'all just saw her take a first step and say she gonna own up? Can you acknowledge us? Yes. You know, I, I know you're That's a little bit cool. tougher. You see it. Okay, tell your sisters that you changed without saying something negative about them. I changed. Just come on now. You just did it with me backstage. You can, they heard you already. You can tell them, tell them how did you change? I changed, like my mindset, my standards, my worth, everything changed about me. Like, you know, I'm trying to be something in life. Like, you know, I don't want to be like this sister that everybody talk about, bad about. Like, you know, I'm trying. Can I say something? How many times have, when you do something, have I told you I was proud of you? How many times have I told you I loved you? Jennifer, I have, it has hurt me for years. When you was going through that situation, that was the only thing that I could do was to call the police when those people were saying that you need to get out of their house. I did that because I loved you and I was scared about how you would end up. I've tried. I tried to be there for and you. And every time it's a situation where we are around, People like at Mommy Memorial, you will stand up and say, thank you, Janae, for being there for me, for being proud of me and this yeah, and that. I but really, when, we, well, I, when I don't give you money or something. I don't care. I got my money, own money. No, I don't it's care not about, about, about the money, but Let's let me tell you. Let's cross out the money. When I let, okay, well, when Let's I'm not giving okay, no money then. When I'm not giving you well, something giving that me, you like, want, then you hate me. You hope I die. You cry because you're not my sister. Come on, bro. Because you bring, you're my come sister. On, when the you, come Jennifer, that's why I don't talk to you. because have been my own money for years. Now. Jennifer, years you just was asking me for money when? a year ago. You and I cut you off ago. because you were saying you you're hope I about, die okay, and you hate me and I don't play with I'm them. I'm gonna take that back because the communication, I see where it's going. I don't play she with She was trying words. to tell you that she loves you and that she supports you and that she wanted you to remember that she's been there for you. I saw where your pain got triggered and all of a sudden you were like, I'm doing for myself now. Can you just stop for a second and acknowledge that's what she was trying to do? Okay, but you sitting up here trying to like. Y'all know what you trying to do. Like, you, y'all can't sit here and just like do that though. Like, you know, y'all can't just do that. What That's are we not do? right. Say what, name it. Like, say what we're what doing. What y'all trying to just sit here? Y'all not giving me my flowers about nothing. She just I just said I was proud of I you. Know, I'm you're happy not. that you, you're you sitting think here I want to see you on um, the street about money. Um, about the show. Let's be real. Why I stopped talking about y'all? I mean, why I stopped talking to them is because it wasn't about the money. They was mad about me not coming to the hospital seeing my mom. Who wants to see their mom going? I'm not upset because you gotta live with that. I don't have to live with that. I made peace with myself. Yeah, but you better. Why would peace. I be upset like, about your decision? Mad. But it's, it's okay. I can't, though. She's gone. I don't want to see her like that. Come on. Then like, say yeah. it. Name that. Say that. It's, it's say okay. that. It is okay that you made a choice that was okay for you not to go it's to the okay hospital. It's okay for me. I am not I watched her pass that. away. That, that broke my heart. I didn't want to see her suffering. I get it. Can't breathe, can't talk, can't do nothing. Like, what? No. And then when I didn't go to her house when she went to Jazz House. But I will tell you she this. She went right back to the hospital because Jazz was yelling too much for Elisa. She is Because I got to tell y'all something. One of the key... You are lying One on of the here. words that triggers you all of y'all is lying. And let me no. tell you something. Let me tell y'all both something, and this is what y'all need to know. Okay, Children of trauma, you sometimes block things out. Timelines are different for people. You have different perspectives. You see things they differently. Do anything and that's TV. the problem. That's we have three people who've experienced trauma in different ways, and all of y'all see things in a different way. And then when the person doesn't see it your way, you call each other liars. You gotta stop that, first of all. I never said liar. Okay, you didn't. You said liar, you said liar. Y'all gotta stop saying that. Okay? Because right now, just because y'all have different perspectives and different ways, your truth is your truth and your truth is your truth. And the quicker you can own that and say your truth is your truth, your truth is your truth, the better off things are. You hear me? <laughs> Secondly, the biggest thing from you right now is I see the hurt. Your hurt comes out in defense and anger. And I get it. I understand why. It doesn't make you a bad person. You're defending yourself. You're trying to say, I'm trying to groan or whatever. You've been in a pattern with your sisters that now you always feel like you got to defend yourself. You like, you got to feel like you got to fight. You got to do all these things. I get it. You lived a life where you had to survive. I understand. You've been trying to survive your entire life. But the thing is, I'm going to tell you, as you leave this show, every time you try to survive and defend with your sisters, you're rebelling against love that is there. I know you just said to me backstage, you feel like no one's there for you, but you don't have to rebel against love. I know you and this sister, y'all have some deeper pain that right now I can't fully solve. But there is a sister right here that's saying to you, she sees you, she loves you, don't rebel against this love. Okay? Don't rebel against this love because her timeline or because she brought up one thing. She wants to be there for you. 
But if y'all don't learn how to communicate, all of y'all gonna wake up one day and be missing each other. And I don't wanna see that, all right? Y'all gotta t learn how to hear each other. Can you try to take that step to realize you don't have to rebel against this love? Yeah. Can you? Thank you. That's all I can get from you. Well, listen, everyone, stay with us. We'll be right back. A concert picked has her convinced her man is cheating. Got a DM from her saying, tell your boyfriend to stay on my inbox. Is he sleeping with other women? You know I love you, right? Okay. You know that? There's only one way to find out. It's time to unlock Chris's phone. Imagine finding the love of your life booed up with another woman at a Young Jeezy concert. I know, right? And you see this picture of them posted all over social media. Well, my first guest, Renee, says she can't get this image of her man, Chris, with another woman out of her mind. And I don't blame her, really, to be honest with you. So she called the show asking for my help to unlock his phone. Please welcome Renee to the show. Hi, Renee. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm good, man. You look super cute. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So, Renee, you said you saw your man at a Young Jeezy concert with another girl. Yes, so actually what happened was I didn't just catch him. I caught him in the middle of the act. Somebody sent me pictures because the girl was actually posting pictures and videos while they were at the concert. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that is what happened. That had to have been wild for you to see that in that moment. Um, I was shocked, I was confused, I was upset. I wanted to punch some walls, I wanted to cry. Yeah. Um, but as soon as I got the phone, cause I got the phone call first, that they seen him at the concert with the girl. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call you right back. Mm -hmm. So when I caught him, I'm like, don't tell me this is true. Like, are you really at the concert with that girl? What did he girl? have to say about it? Because we have photo proof, um, so what did, what did it you say? It was, but he ain't had a photo yet. Oh, so yeah. it was, no, I ain't, I ain't there with her. Like, what is you talking about? But as I'm talking to him, the picture comes through in my phone. So I sent it to him. And when I sent it to him, of course, you know, he chickened out and he hung up, so. So what does Chris say about the woman in the photo now? Cause you had um, the photo proof. It was, oh, I ran into her. Um, I'm so, in my head, and we did all been to concerts, it's thousands of people there. And you mean to tell me you run into this one particular person? Like that just, it didn't make any sense to me. So I finally kind of got the truth out of him after, you know, like a day or so, but I don't feel like I should have even had to pull teeth to get the truth out of him. It should have just- Especially when you have a photo. Yeah, it should have just been, okay, you caught me red handed. This is what it is. And you know, we could have been on about our day or whatever. How long but, have y'all been together? Um, three and a half years. Three and a half years, yeah. so this is long term. So there's deep yeah. emotions. Yeah, we, we got a lot invested. Do you have children together? We have a child together, but together collectively, it's eight kids. Yeah, so I know that other women DM'd you messages about relationships with him. Is that true? Um, it wasn't that, the same person. Yeah, a different woman. The same one. The same woman DM'd you. Yeah. So she DM'd you and told you that we were in Yeah, trouble. it was like months, months at the beginning of the year. And I got a DM from her saying, tell your boyfriend to stay on my inbox. Mm. And I didn't respond because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a lady. So I'm like, I need to watch what I say. So I'm like, I ain't even about to give her the satisfaction. I'm just not about to respond. But then she DM'd me again the next day once she couldn't get through to him and she couldn't get through to me. So she had DM'd me again. And the stuff that she said, which by this time he had already told me everything. And it was kind of so, what she did DM me, it wasn't nothing surprising, but it was just the simple fact like, why are you even doing this as a woman? Why are you even, mm. you know, like I just Tell don't Tell me about the box cute. you found in Chris Carr. <laughs> well, I found, it was like a jewelry package, like from Amazon or something and they had this specific name on it. And the same name that was in, on the package is the same person that DM'd me. So and now you're now you're connecting dots oh, and there's for, jewelry yeah. at the end of that, yeah. that trail. Yeah, I'm, I'm connecting them all the way. And at this point now I'm flipping out and tripping because you told me that this person was a 
goddaughter to someone that you knew and she worked at a jury store and she was getting y'all discounts because mm -hmm. he left his jury. So at the moment, did I believe it? Yeah. Well, okay, everyone, it is time to hear from Renee's boyfriend, Chris. Please welcome Chris to the show. Hey, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show, man. Thanks. All right, so you got to, first of all, explain the photo of you and the woman at the Young Jeezy concert. I mean... And I, don't gaslight me, because I saw the photo, no, so no, I know no. it happened. Yeah, I mean, it happened. I was there at the concert with the bros. You know, we went to the concert and everything, and I happened to see somebody that I knew, and they tickets was, you know, kind of closer than ours, and so we down at the um, stage and went down there, and we just, you know, went down there and kicked it. She snapped a picture. Um, but he knows this nothing. specific person how she is. She that's likes to, <sighs> she likes to put stuff on social media. That's how he get caught because she puts stuff on social that's media. That's because her goon squad always on social media. Well, no. the goon squad. That's I don't have a goon friends, squad. First of all, it's 2022. Family, when you going through need... a problem and you call your home girl and you telling your home that's girl about the situation, I don't have to tell them to so do anything. So they don't be searching and they, looking for stuff on social they, media. They, so they, they don't do search that. and look for stuff on social media. But they media. do that on their own. Hold on, that's not cute. Gotta, you gotta know them. You I gotta need know me them. a goon squad. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's, I need to introduce everyone to my goon squad. This no, goon number one, need, goon number two, no. goon number three. They don't need a goon if squad. If y'all see my man doing something, go search for me exactly. right now. No, no. But like, honest, I, I didn't even no. know that my people was following the girl yes. on social she had media. To know that because how but else would they know to go follow her? Hey, they my so they my really Chris, if you said you don't you're not cheating on Renee with this woman, mm -hmm. how do you explain the DMs? Is he sleeping with other women? You know I love you, right? Okay. You know that. There's only one way to find out. It's time to unlock Chris's phone. <laughs> we are serving up some free tickets at karamoshow.com. Come be a part of the studio family. I didn't just catch him, I caught him into the act. Somebody sent me pictures because the girl was actually posting pictures and videos while they were at the concert. I know that other women DM'd you messages about relationships with him. Is that true? The same one. I got a DM from her saying, tell your boyfriend to stay on my inbox. You said you're not cheating on Renee with this woman. Mm. How do you explain the DMs? The DMs? Yeah. I mean, there's different DMs just from people that I know. Any DM that she's been seen, she knew about it beforehand or but, anything like that. So mm. to be surprised, you know, I'm, I'm like, where is this going and why is you doing so all So you tell this? my producers that you think Renee is the reason for the problems in a relationship. For sure. What? And Renee why? Is the problem. You gotta be serious. Because Renee, Renee likes to put two and two together and come <laughs> up with five. <laughs> Renee never, never, never. You, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. No, that's the truth. That's what no. it is. Chris, what, do you, what else does her friend say to you and do? Um, they just, you know, they, that's what they do. They, they follow stuff, put two and two together. Renee even told me she had a tracker on my car, so she could, you, if I pulled up somewhere. you have a tracker on his car? No. Okay. So if no. I pulled up somewhere, so she had no. I said that because I just was messing with him. That because he, it was late at night, and he was getting ready to leave, and we was in the middle of an argument, and I'm like, where is you going? Like, so But she done said I it more than once, though. that there was a tracker, but there's really so not a tracker. So I had to take tracker. my car to get a sweep to make sure it wasn't a tracker on it. <laughs> All right, well, I think it's time to take it to my audience, get their comments on this. Y'all got something yep. to say about this? <laughs> How you doing? Thank you. So what are your thoughts on this? Renee, I need you to wake up. Are you being played? Mm. Renee, oh. do you think you're playing the fool right now? Um, yeah, sometimes I do feel like that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm honest. I, I do sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. But how can you be playing a fool on something and you never caught me doing nothing? It's just all speculations. The picture is in Thank the play. You. I know. Uh, that's you. a picture of well, somebody. And a picture is worth a thousand words. Mm. All right, so what are your thoughts on this? Now, Chris, oh. if you can have a side piece, why can't Renee? Ooh! Ooh. I, Renee, yeah. could, Renee is grown. Renee can do what she like to do. 
So your response to someone saying <laughs> your girl not, get a side piece crazy. is not, I don't have she a side said, piece. If I had one. Hold on, hold on. No, she you know, said if I have she one. She said if you have a side piece, why yeah. can't she get a side piece? But and your response one. was she's grown, not I don't have a side piece. I mean, well, I mean, that was clear. I already said I don't. You know what I mean? So it wasn't if clear. I, if, it okay. wasn't clear. It All wasn't right, clear. Right. So if I had a side piece, crazy. it would be okay for Renee to have one if that's what she chose to do. Interesting. Thank you so much. Wow. Anybody else? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Carmel, I, I got a comment. Okay. You get a side piece. She gets a side piece. <laughs> he gets a, All of you, you all get a side piece. You get a side piece, Carmel. Everybody right. get a side piece. I'm, I'm happy at home with my man, okay? I don't need a side piece. Let me tell you, she said a side piece for everybody. <laughs> I don't think Oprah approved that one, okay? I'm just you know that right now. She did not, okay? All right, listen, let's get back over to Renee and Chris because we got to unlock this phone and see what's really going on. Is he sleeping with other women? It's time to unlock Chris's phone. Make sure you don't miss what happens next. You told my producers that you think Renee is the reason for the problems in a relationship. For sure. What? And Renee why? Is the you gotta be serious. Because Quit Renee, playing. Renee likes to put two and two together and come up with five. <laughs> Renee even told me she had a tracker on my car, so she could. You... If I pull it you up, have a tracker on his car? no. Okay. No. We gotta unlock this phone and see what's really going on. All right, everyone, we are back, and it is time to unlock Chris's phone. Um... <laughs> so Renee. Uh, you said you wanted to unlock this phone because you want to see what's going on. You're ready for your man to be honest with you, correct? Yes. All right. So, we have the results. Renee, when it comes to unlocking Chris's phone, mm -hmm. Chris would not allow me to unlock his phone. Like, for real? Yeah. You, like, you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Why but I mean, but why, why, why wouldn't you allow them to unlock your because phone? Because it's, you, it's all kinds of stuff in my phone. I'm not letting nobody well, lock But what's that phone. supposed to mean? It's like, just but important why wouldn't you... stuff in my phone. I'm but not But you say you let me, you phone. say you care, but why wouldn't you let them unlock your phone? Like, that don't make no sense to me. So, I mean, like, what does this, what do this mean? So, it means, from my perspective, if you want to know, that he's hiding something. Well, just mean because the thing, so, so let me space. be clear. The way that unlocking the phone works here is that we don't search through um, things. Listen, wait, I'm not the popo. I don't care. I don't, know, I don't care what's going on in your life. Only thing I care about is facts. I use the facts to help. I use the facts to help discover how I can help your relationship be better. I don't do it in hopes of finding something so you break up. It's in hopes of finding something to say, this is where you are and this is how you move forward. But when you are not able to be transparent or vulnerable, it leaves questions. That's going to complicate stuff So why would more. it complicate stuff exactly. more? What is in your phone that because can complicate then if it? Because it it's saying. something in my phone, then I have to explain that and explain this and explain that, and then it what might not make sense. What is in your phone sense. that you have to explain? This is all kinds of... If you don't want to say it, then just tell, tell us right now anything. what's in your phone that you don't explain. It could be anything. You never like know what? it could be anything. We have a family. Like, like, we can't keep doing this but back what? and forth. I, I, and I we haven't have lied a, about nothing. I'll tell you the truth okay. about everything. I haven't you lied about just... nothing. But see, even the, if, even the if... problem is that we don't know that to be true. We don't know that to be true. Man, she, All should I just, know that. she should break up with me then. I know that. So I'm glad you said that. Because the thing is, is that I, so, so listen, I'm glad you said that. Because at the end of the day, you came on here for help. Yes. And, I, and that is always my intention, to make sure you leave here better than I found you. Right. I have to ask you, why are you making a decision to be in a situation where you have to avoid the truth Mm -hmm. or avoid DMs in order to say, well, this relationship is good enough for me to stay in. To be honest, ultimately, like, I do love him. Like I said in the beginning, like, he has done things to me that no other man has ever made me feel. He, he lets me know I'm beautiful. I have a problem with my weight. He always tells me, like, babe, you're fine, you know? So, he, he so gives because, me so confidence. Because, so I get this, because I've dealt with a lot of women who mm -hmm. are in this position. Because you have a man who's accepting things that you find as your flaws, yeah. because you have a man who's doing things for you and validating your self-esteem like other men haven't, you feel like you have to settle for his behavior that is negative. And so the fact of the matter is that you're saying, well, he calls me beautiful, but at the same time, just because he's calling you beautiful, he's also saying to you that your beauty is not enough for me to be honest with you. But I still don't lie. I don't lie. I may 
not say something, and it's, it's then an if she got to say something, so, so un- and then I, I tell listen, her what I'm it is. You, I'm going to tell you this. Real. I am a very... If anybody who's watched the show, I see both sides in everything. I'm always like, yeah. I don't want to say you're a bad guy, you're bad, because mm-hmm. we're humans, and we all have experiences that lead us to where we are. Right. But the fact of the matter is, since you didn't want to be transparent mm-hmm. and show us what's going on, allow me to help you there. The only thing we have to go off of is mm-hmm. the proof in front of us, which right. is a photo of you and another woman at a Young Jeezy concert, a, f- a box in a car that you have another woman's address on that is jewelry, the fact that she is getting DMs. All of those are three red flags for me that show that there is something something going on. I am not a park ranger, but I tell you, where there is smoke and fire, and there is something going on there that lets me know that there is something happening. And the fact that you're telling me, well, if I open up my phone right now, I have to explain something. What you got to explain? Thank you. It's hard. That's so hard to So what I'm going to tell explain. you is what I need you to do from this point on is I'm going to encourage you to practice your self-esteem. I'm going to encourage you to understand that just because he makes you feel nice in some ways doesn't mean that he has a permission to make you feel bad in other ways. Trust yourself. Okay. Okay? Okay. I love you, and I think you got, you're got going to get this. Thank I believe you. you. All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.